right guys this is josh back at it again with another video uh make sure you like comment subscribe you look for body game because i will have body game content but let's get into it let's get right to the video you know what i'm saying like let's jump right into it i don't want to waste your time so let's get into it i'm gonna talk about athletes and players for body game saying as for me you know what I'm saying? I'm getting more cut up, I'm getting more swole. Make sure you check out that workout plan in the description box below. I will link that. But basically, what you have to understand, basically what you have to understand for body game is that body game is natural. That's This is what y'all need to understand. Body game is natural. Natural in the sense of like, body game, you don't have to buy extra things. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to use your apartment. You don't have to use your car. You don't have to use your influence. You don't have to use any of that. A lot of times when you're dealing with athletes and you're dealing with players, a lot of times that their body is naturally like that. They don't even have to necessarily work out. They just are blessed genetically. So those people in itself are going to be gifted because they don't have to work for muscle. They don't have to work for anything like that. It's primal. It's testosterone. It's natural. It's genetic. So you don't have to do too much. When you get with an athlete gets drafted, they are at the best that they can be physically and that's what i'm saying other teams are looking for them other teams are scouting for them they're getting scouted because genetically they are gifted and that's what i'm telling you that with body game with players and athletes they're going to be the first in selection because women understand that this person is able to perform at a high level at a younger age their body is so good that they're going to be chosen by everyone athletically the body is power it's genetic whenever you're dealing with something that's genetic and something that's natural you're going to have first selection in that it's something that happens in animal kingdom it's evolution it's the highest best survival of the fittest so that's what i'm telling you guys is that if you're not genetically gifted for a body game it's things you can do to physically modify your body to get that muscle tone of an athlete because that's basically the prime for all of us you know what i'm saying if you're looking at an athlete's body and looking at a, a regular person's body you can just tell from the, mur the muscles insertions from the speed the agility everything like that that is the ideal for a man you feel me that's just how it goes and that's why they're able to perform at a crazy insane level because they're able to compete physically with other men of different ages and that's what i'm saying that's what you want your body to be because that is prime health if you're playing if you're an athlete you're playing sports we have to get physicals you have to get physicals because we need to see how healthy you are to be able to compete if you're fit to compete when i played sports and when i was in sports they made sure that physically i could compete at my age group my age range and that's what i'm telling you guys is that you want to mimic that because at that point when you are select selected physically people are still choosing you it may not be for a draft it may not be for a combine or it may not be to be like to be picked up on a basketball team but it's still being chosen because people understand that genetically or physically you're able to protect you're able to support yourself you're able to support other people just based off of you physically and that's what i'm telling you guys is that that's why we practice body game because it's the prime for health it's the prime for looks for a body and it's more masculine because the higher you are on the masculine spectrum or the more testosterone you have the more competitive and the harder you are to kill and that's what men are looking for you know what i'm saying basically of having stability having finances and money we do that to support we do that to provide and protect so the better you are that physically it's going to rewire your mind for that financially it's going to rewire your mind that uh for dating and everything like that because when you work on yourself personally your mind follows and that's what i'm saying that's why you want to practice body game you know what i mean because it's like look we watch tv you watch sports if the people weren't physically fit guess who wouldn't have your attention guess who wouldn't perform great and that's what i'm telling you guys body game is important and even you know for from a physical physicality standpoint, we look at men's basketball rather than women's basketball because men are able to compete at a higher level and it's more dangerous, it's more competitive, it's more prone to injury, it's more physical contact because we are seeing who is the best physically. And a man is gonna be more physically, physicality like, you know, from genetics and everything like that, they're gonna be stronger than a woman. And that's what I'm saying. You guys have to be on your game and on your for your body because the stronger you are the longer you live 
and that's the main thing because think about it if you don't have the body how are you going to spend money how are you going to educate yourself if you don't have the body to wake you up in the morning or you don't have the strength to open a book or you don't have the strength to read health is wealth you guys like that's why i always preach this and i always tell you guys about body game because if you don't take anything from this video at least learn that physically you're looking for the highest and best physically for looking for a mom for your children you're looking for a woman that is going to be healthy to be able to, to bring life into this world you are going to be predetermined that way you may look at it as attraction but at the end of the day it's based off of health but main thing with attraction is health the healthier somebody is the more attractive you're going to be to them like the more attractive you're going to be to them and that's natural and that's why i tell you guys that body game is natural body game is not something to play with because it's going to be on a primal level it's going to be something that you cannot control and it's going to have your attention it's going to garner your attention because it's health health is wealth you see a body you see a nice body you see that as currency you want to be a part of that person's life because they're healthy and that is also a reflection of you if you're able to attract that because it also says that you're healthy as well and that's what i want you guys to know it's more primal than what you think you know what I'm saying body game is a lot more serious than what you think because money can always fade health can fade but why work on money and you're not healthy because you have to be physically fit to get money you know what i'm saying or you have to do something consistently and consistently takes a more masculine approach you know what i'm saying you have to wake up you have to continue and you have to have the health to do that you know what I'm saying whether you're being physical or if it being mental you have to be healthy in order to get those things done because if you are ill if you are sick you can't compete and that's the main thing we want to make sure that you are competing my channel and that's basically why i'm doing these videos is i want to make sure that you're in the race you're in the running you know what i'm saying you're not bench warming in life you're actually being able to play you're able to start you're able to be compete you're able to you know what i'm saying talk trash because you had the skills to back it up but in order to have skills you got to be healthy in order to have skills you gotta have the body you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm saying other people are looking at this because the more able you're able to dominate other men it's attractive because that's protection they understand okay this person is going to be able to compete at a high level and he's going to be able to protect my offspring that's what women are thinking and it's, it's more it's, it's so deeper than what people make it seem and i'm saying you know we live in a, a softer society now to where it's like you're dealing with money you're dealing with status but before all that if you were to take that away people are going to be looking at who's healthy who's fit who's attractive you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm saying if a person is not fit or healthy then you won't deem it as attractive and that's what I'm saying. that's why i want you guys to work on health because that is important to pan it you know, <laughs> that's important to you know project your lifestyle you know what i'm saying the, the healthier you are the easier it is to wake up the more energy you have and energy is also currency but guess who has the most energy somebody that's healthy so that's what i'm saying guys you got to make sure that you are um performing you are making sure you're meeting your goals and you have to have that mindset you know what i'm saying as you look in the animal kingdom people aren't telling lions to wake up and go hunt it's instinctual and that's the same thing we have in our body but we have the choice to do it or to not do it but when an animal kingdom is different because it's life or death you know what i'm saying we're not more animalistic you know what i'm saying we're not gonna we're not cannibals you know what i'm saying or we're not looking to actually get our food in a while because we have progressed but before it was like that and that's what i'm saying women are looking for that because the better you can perform in life the more you can achieve, the more successful you are, the more attractive you are because you are fighting every day. You know what I'm saying? You're getting up and you're hunting. You're a hunter. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing between like hunter eyes or having that mindset of like genetically, okay, I have the testosterone to get, I have the testosterone to go uh, fight. You know what I'm saying? I have the testosterone to go, you know, get, go hunt. You know what I'm saying? We got to hunt. As men, we have to hunt. And this goes for women too. You know what I'm saying? As when you're dealing in the workplace, you have to be a shark. You have to fight for every paycheck. You have to fight for every promotion. It's not just going to be handed to you just because. But that's the difference between women. It can, uh, based on, uh, you know what I'm saying, how somebody feels. But somebody has to give you that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody has to prove because we are in a man-dominated world. But I'm just telling you guys, if we are performing in a male-dominated world, why would you not be healthy in order to compete with that? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just lie down and take it. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to fight every day to achieve your goals.
and that's attractive. And that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I will have more videos like this. This is Body Game, and I'm coming to you with more of these daily. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you in my next video, and I am out.